Good morning, my little spuds. How are you? Uh, you are very welcome. It's we Paddy back with another video. I hope you enjoyed the wee walk around video. Didn't know whether anybody would be interested, but I just thought I'd put it up. Anyway, this is a little video. It's not an unboxing because I'd already unboxed them and brought them down to the caravan. I wasn't carrying all the packages down and doing they were well and truly zipped up, taped up. So I just thought I'll take them apart. It's just sm uh, four small knives. You know, I love little small knives to add to my collection and you know that I'm collecting the old American brands so I'm trying to get one of as many different brands as I can get. So this is the first of the four. Three of them are American and one from Switzerland. So this is a K-Bar and it's a K-Bar lovely little small knife. It says on here K-Bar 1026 USA. So I take it that it's made in the USA. It's beautiful i don't know whether i think that might be delrin or bone but it's jigged beautifully uh really lovely knife thoroughly enjoying this little knife um and i got these all for my mate dan over on etsy and instagram go over and check him out i'll put his name down in the description please go and check him out at blade bridge limited and uh, check them out. It's all one word, by the way, Blade Bridge Limited. Um, I get them from him and he gives me a really fair price. I love this type of knife. The little small second knife you throw in your pocket and it ends up doing most of the work in my working day. So there's a lovely little knife there. What size is it? Well, here you go. Let's just give you a size. This is just three inches exactly closed which is a lovely size of a wee knife if you want a comparison here is a peanut and a peanut is about two and three quarters so you've got the quarter of an inch on a peanut there which makes it just a really handy wee knife i'll leave the peanut up there because all these are in that size so there's the first one that i got over the moon with that the second one that I got is this one, which is an Uncle Henry. I hope you can see that there. An Uncle Henry in the fake stag, but it actually looks really good, I have to say. The stag in this, it's not that yellowy colour. You know, well, it is kind of yellow, but it looks old and it looks real. Um, I'll probably be proven wrong, but no, that's definitely just a stag alone, I think. And this is a beautiful little stockman. And this one says, let me just get that out here. Let me get this out here so I can get a wee look at it. This says, Shred USA Made. So, I'm happy to say that that's a Shred. There's still a fair bit of the blade left. This is a real wee user. Again, somewhere along that same size. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and you've got your sheep's foot and then you have a little pen knife and they've all got plenty of life left in and the snap is great on these little knives but they're just i just really do appreciate the workmanship that goes into a small one just as much as a big one and um, there it is against the little peanut and it is about the same size as a peanut lovely really pleased with that and if anybody can help me with the age of these little things what they please 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 Stick down below if you've got any idea. The next one is very special. I think this one was made for just one year by Case. And I think the year was 19... I remember Dan telling me the year. I can't remember what it was. Uh, 88. 1988. And this is a Case. Sorry, I'm doing this on below. I just needed to see it down here. It's 511098. And it's Case XX USA. Look at that. Is that not just beautiful? They only made this for one year, so I would say this must be fairly rare. I have never seen one, especially this small. And you know I collect my razor knives, so I'll do a video of this, a full review on this one with my other razor knives. Um, but that is really lovely. And the case, I'll show this side, because apparently sometimes these shields will give away what age it is. So there it is. Beautiful in real stag bone. Um, there it is. What's that say? Oh, it's upside down. Oh, 
right? There it is, Case Double X USA, and there's a 51, 51.10.98 SS for stainless steel. But just beautifully made. Absolutely fit and finish. I've been very lucky with Case, and very lucky with the people I've been buying them from. But the fit and finish of that little knife, look at the fit and finish of the little shrade. There's nothing, there's no gaps at all. So I do believe these are older models look at that you know a little k bar absolutely perfect fit and finish and that's what i like about dan if they are that good he tells you that good and then you pay that you know you'll pay that little bit extra for and when he says they're you know perfect or not perfect but as perfect as an old knife can be he means it and that, and that means the world because i can buy with confidence from him and that's what we definitely want and look at this this is a i know that this was a gift now this little it's absolutely stunning. And I know they're small knives, but they're no less hard to make a small knife as it is a big one. But that, I just, I'm really touched with that. So if anybody's got any information on that, please let me know down below. I know there's plenty of your case lovers out there. And the last, but by no means the least, this is the Delamont uh not delamont what do we call it oh, you know what it's called <laughs> it's, it's the swiss army this is an older one that must have been just uh i don't know whether there was because it, it's ridged so i don't know whether the whole entire center of it came out or somebody had taken it out to make another knife but a beautiful little knife it's got the little pen blade and i'll bring that up there and you can see that i hope so it's four layer and it's not on site. Well, is it four? Let me just have a gain. Sorry, I'm going to mess with a magnifying glass. Yes, it is Wenger. It's a Wenger knife. It's got the bow and arrow. Uh, Wenger. What's that say? Wenger Delamont, Switzerland. I don't know what that says at the bottom. Right, sorry. I'm going to have to get right up here and have a look. I'm not sure what that says. Let me see. Switzerland stainless. Sorry. I'm really sorry. That's a terrible bad video. So it's Wenger Delamont Switzerland stainless. So if that can help with the uh, dating of it. Lovely little nail file. This is a great nail file, by the way. Absolutely super. Really like that. But the reason Dan had sent me this one was look it's got a wee ship on the back of it and i'm a sailor so you'd see that again thoughtful presence just you, you you can't beat them you really can't off did i buy this one no i don't think i think you gave me this one uh, and it's also got the metal uh tweezers and the plastic uh toothpick but lovely i'm over the moon with that that's a really lovely one that'll go to in collection i was thinking of you see this here is getting one of those white markers uh, like an ink marker and going round all that does anybody think i should or do you just leave it the way it is not so sure but anyway that's the four knives that i've got for you today um that's the little peanut i'll take that out of the way but i wanted to show you some of the other little small knives that i have and especially a, a beautiful one that will go with this and this is the one if you've seen my channel this is one of my favorite little knives and this is the Swayback Jack from Case in Stag. But look at them two together. The Swayback's a little bit bigger. But isn't that just a lovely pairing to have in your pocket? I mean, it's just gorgeous. I just absolutely love it. I really do. And again, you've seen I've got little peanuts. I've got lots of little knives. There's a little toothpick which another beautiful little knives, all within that sort of size. And then here's a Mazarin, an, an Italian one. And it's just a single blade, lovely single bladed knife from Mazarin. So just some of my collection of little small knives. And look, you know, these are every bit as, you know, they're so well made. Even the cases, I mean, they're just, there's another case, a toothpick. It's just perfect fit and finish. So you can find them. You just have to look that little bit harder. And uh, I hope you find them. I hope you find them as exciting as I do. Because this is just, this is a really important part of my collection. I love these little secondary knives or just show pieces, whatever you want them for. 
So, 10 minutes is up. Paddy's away for a wee cup of tea. I thank you for watching. If you know anything about the dates, especially of this one, but these two no less, and this winger. There you go. Paddy's away. Bye now. Take care.